In this lesson, I want us to add a block number. So you click on add on and let's click on the block number. Just gonna put in the admin and then you want to put in the head in here for this. And you also have the option here to choose the font title, the font size, uh, the font weight. Click you can add more than one additional one. Title, you can choose the color and then there's the head in. Your head in here. And then for the block number, you have zero one. You can change the background color for that. So let's click on apply and save and take a look at this on the front end. And we're also going to edit this on the front end. So that's the block number there. Let's also edit this on the front end. Okay, so let's say you wanted to add, you know, additional stuff. So let's, let's edit this one first. So I want this to be the background color. I want this one to be like a red. And then the radius, if you want to give it a little more rounded part, this is where the radius comes in. So when I put this at like a 10, and then the font color, the size, you can choose whatever number you want, leave that at one, and then click on apply. You notice that the edge is a little more round now. They're not, uh, you know, as square as before. So this, let's come in here, let's add some more. So let's add three more. Or we can also just come in and just duplicate this, just clone it, and then just drag it over. So let's edit this one. So you feel a little more creative, you know, the creative juice is flowing and you want to change this color to, let's leave it at that color. And then you want the, the radius for this one to be, let's say 25. And then you want the alignment to be center and click apply. You notice that this gives it a more of a circle, a circular look. So that's a circle. Let's copy this one here and we're just going to drag it over and put it right there. And let's say you feel a little more creative and you want to change the colors for this. So let's change. Let's go back here. We're going to change the color for this one. Change it to, to that color. And you want the border radius to, you know, you don't want the border radius for this one. So you want to leave that one to blank and you want this to be on the right and you want the block size to be a little bigger. Let's change that to something bigger. And you want to change this number from being zero one to six and let's click on apply. So now this is what it looks like. The box is bigger, the number is smaller and it fits right there. So let's add one more so your creative juice is still flowing or you're trying to get a certain look just click on edit and we're going to change the color for this one just scroll down change the color for this the color wheel here you can move this up or down or you can move this one here so that's a different color and you want to change let's say you want to change the color tag for this one to a like a black and then this one the radius you want to change it to like 45 and then put this one on the left. And then for the font size, for the block size, put it to 20 for the block number, 60. And you can change the title color for this one here. I want to change this one to, let's just scroll, just picking random colors. Okay, so let's come and apply and see what it looks like. So now you see the contrast, how you have this one is so small and petite right here, and then you have these here. So it gives you a lot of different options. I just wanted to demonstrate for you the different styles that you have. You can be, you know, make them as big as you need to, or make them as small as you want to. Uh, but once again, you have full control over how everything is presented. You can change the colors. You can add the spacing. You can change the, you know, the size of it, whatever numbers that you want to put. So it gives you a lot of flexibility over that. And once you're done, don't forget to click on save. If you don't click on save uh, and you refresh the page, you're going to lose everything that you worked on. So make sure you click on save after you're done.